We have a question from Daniel Terry. Hi Dave, in many, if not all that I've seen of your basic suspension setup videos for sag rebound and compression, you always push on a bike to get a feel for the rebound and compression damping. Why do you not put the rider on the bike and have him or her bounce it? Wouldn't that give you a better idea of how the suspension will react on the road? Well, interesting question, Daniel. Actually, the reason why I don't put anybody in the bike is, as you point out, to feel the suspension. If you put a person on a bike and bounce them, the only time I would ever do that specifically for a given purpose is for shock rebound adjustment when the shock is really quite hot. Because if I'm not sure based on tire wear whether I have the right adjustment, I can go ahead, put them on the bike, leave them in a static seating position in the normal place they would sit, and then bounce the rear end. That is really the only time I will do that. If you're asking a person to basically bounce a bike by being on it, say it's in the sport chalk like we use in the videos, you're going to have, them, have to have them stand up to be able to bounce the motorcycle. So right out of the gate, in having them stand up, the body position is different, the weight bias on the motorcycle is different. The energy they're going to put into the suspension based on leg strength and arm strength and balance is going to be different. Therefore, if we're going to do that, you're going to get many different results based on <clears throat> their weight, their actual physical height, which will change leverage, and then their ability in terms of balance to put an even movement into the suspension itself. So over the years, it's become increasingly apparent that the only time you do that is to do it for shock rebound. In developing a feel for the motorcycle, when you see me push on the bikes, there's a couple of ways to do it. Push it gently, especially if you've seen the CBR video that's in a uh, first volume of two clicks out you'll see that there's a nice easy push on the bike to just see how does the suspension move is the rear tighter than the front stiffer than the front does it rebound faster how does the bike overall feel does it have decent balance and then obviously there's high speed and low speed hitting a pothole hitting a raised manhole cover something like that is a very sharp jolt so you need to mimic that as well as mimic gently pushing on the bike for low speed damping Feel free by all means to try and do that yourself. Make sure if you do do that, you have a sport shark and people around you to hold up the bike should you lose your balance, because that is a very precarious thing to do. But if you want to try it, one of the best ways or things to do, as I mentioned, is shark rebound. Get the bike stinking hot, have somebody hold it by the front and push down on the, on the rear of the bike with you in place. Does it top out or does it come up and then go down again? and then you can adjust the rebound based on it topping out and coming over. If it comes over the top, then you need to add rebound damping. So give it a go. Try that particular aspect of pushing on the bike and see how that works. Thanks very much for your question. If you have questions for me, please send them through Facebook on my services page, Dave Moss Tuning. Thanks a lot.